Hi there, this is um, Slitty Money here with another update on Can Energy. Uh, they had uh, the full year results out today, along with two very interesting uh, news, which I'm going to go through with you now. Now, the first one is the announcement of uh, Can uh, selling their entire North Sea. Uh, assets. When I mean North Sea, the main two, which is the catcher field, which the the operator is Premier Oil, and twenty nine point five percent interest in Kraken Field, which is uh, operated by Enquest. Now they're selling this for four hundred and sixty million dollars. Effective January first, twenty twenty. Okay, so I. Again, it's not much there. Um, so all they're going to receive is 460 million cash now, along with some um, production performance going forward, which, which might give them another, say, 75 million to about 125 million in the future, based on oil price, obviously. So again, that was the news. they selling their stake in North Sea. Now, what they're going to do is move into... Uh, Egypt where is it yeah now with Ken and his um, consortium partner which is Chirion uh, they're basically buying Shell's assets in the western desert in uh, Egypt now the total cost of that is just under a billion dollar uh, which uh, they're gonna obviously have to pay to Shell and um, and I uh, Overall, it looks like a very um, interesting move because North Sea is obviously less risky, but the cost of production is a little bit higher. And going to Egypt, the risk is much higher, but the cost of production or cost of doing business is actually a little less. So again... I don't know what you think of this, but uh, I see that as a little risky, but it's worth it. So they're going to get, or Kane's going to get roughly just around 40 or just under 40,000 barrels of oil equivalent. Uh, most of that is gas. And as you know, gas is actually a lot higher in Egypt than in UK, the cost of gas. So again, it looks like a great move, but again, it's high risk. Now, with this um, acquisition, uh, the future uh, production increase is actually a lot higher because they can increase their production if they wish to, which I believe they will. They just have to invest a little bit more money. Overall, this looks like a... Um, a great acquisition to me um, it's sad to see that they sold um, the North Sea assets for quite cheap now let's look at the financial results for the year this is quite long so I'm not gonna go through it uh, in detail I'll just go for the bullet point now um, if you've been following Ken you would know that they won the um, tax case against Indian government. Uh, they were awarded $1.2 billion plus uh, interest and cost, which they haven't received yet. But in the near future, they are most likely going to receive it. Now, they've sold the um, Norway and Senegal asset. The year-end cash is $570 million with zero to none debt. They gave $250 million uh, in special dividend to shareholders. The overall production was uh, 21,000 barrels for the year. So if you compare this to what they're going to get in Egypt, it's actually double. So the average 21,000 uh, barrels of oil in, in, in the UK, now they're going to sell this and buy Egypt, or well, Egyptian assets from Shell, which will give them the potential obviously they're gonna get 40,000 barrels roughly but they have the potential to increase so just based on the production level 
buying the uh, Egyptian asset looks like a great move to me. So, uh, yeah, so they made a net loss of 67 million, loss after tax 394 million. Uh, overall, it looks like that is something that's expected and it's nothing special apart from that special dividend. Uh, yeah, so here it goes on the 2021 outlook. Uh, they're going to buy the shells Western Desert in Egypt uh, with a production of 33 to 38,000 barrels. 66% of that is gas. And bear in mind, gas is actually a lot higher in, uh, in Egypt. So overall, this looks like a um, great move in my opinion, although I think it's high risk. Um, I think it's uh, it's, it's very risky. I'm, I'm just I'm not sure what, how that's going to play out. But uh, in the long run, I believe um, the oil price is going to go much higher, and uh, they're going to do very well. So let's look at the the historical share price to give you an idea. So the ticker symbol for that is CNE. Uh, they trade in London, Kane Energy PLC. So just to give you an idea, in 2012, the share price were almost £15 a share. Just to give you an idea. And the 52-week low currently is 57 pence. And they hit just around the £2.240 mark, 52-week uh, high. And let me give you another... Um, chart to give you an idea of what I'm talking about so during the first lockdown uh, we had that market crash as you can see it's just after March 2020 they were trading at below 50 probably about 35 40 pence a share and they went as high as £2.40, that's when they got the announcement uh, in December 2020 that they won the Indian um, tax dispute and that pushed the share price to £2.40 and it kind of settled down just under, around £2 or just under £2. But you can see that trend line is nice and strong and if you manage to buy the, on the dip uh, 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 around March 20, uh, you probably made over four five hundred percent gain so that was an opportunity if you took it well done um, yeah so let's look at the oil price to give you an idea um, we had that uh, bad news on Monday or Sunday night that there was a attack on Saudi facilities and that pushed the share price really well over 70 70 dollars so here let's have a look at the um 30 minute chart or an hour chart yeah there you go it hit almost 72 then it kind of settled down just under 68 dollars uh, a barrel so overall i think uh this is something i would invest in if not i would definitely put on the watch list because once they, once they get that money from the Indian government and they don't really have any, any debt, as you saw, hardly any, um, I mean, they can do some serious damage uh, with that kind of money, especially at these oil prices. So I would definitely uh, keep an eye on this. If possible, I would, I would add, because it's a debt-free company and they're going into Egypt, low cost, high risk. So I would definitely um, uh, invest. Again, anything I say is just for entertainment purposes only. Nothing is intended as advice or financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. Anything I do here is just purely for entertainment purposes only. Now, um, I've seen there's so many people that... Um, uh, rejoined my channel and uh, subscribed um, thank you very much for that and 
yeah if you want more content uh more details please let me know uh, in the comment below and thank you for watching my channel Silly money so thank you very much goodbye